everybody, Brad here with GeoArm Security. Today I'm going to show you how to uh, either replace an existing cellular communicator or install your cellular communicator for the first time. Alright, so the thing you need to know is before you do any installation of that sort, you need to disengage all power. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open up the tabs on the top. The system's pretty easy. Alright, we're going to go ahead and open it up. Get that back panel off. All right. Now again, with this panel, I like to use this little clip. It can be a little bit, uh, I like to use this little clip. It can be a little stiff. So you want to go ahead and pull. All right, you just want to unscrew these terminals, unplug them. All right, so now there's no more backup battery. All right, and then you can just simply unplug the transformer. All right, you'll notice the power is gone. We still have the transformer wired, the backup battery is still in place. All we'd have to do is just reconnect it. So now we're gonna be working with the cellular communicator, all right, which I have out of the box. It'll come with the cellular communicator. This is the alarm.com version, the AT&T one. All right, it's gonna come with an antenna for better signal. All right, yeah. So now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to uh, get that cellular communicator in there. All right, so first thing you're gonna look for is on the top, uh, like if you're looking at your panel face forward like this, you turn it over, and you'll see right here there's two little grooves, which I can zoom in for you. Right here, there's a groove and then there's a groove on that side. So that's what we're gonna be working with. All right, so once you have it in there, it should fit snugly. You're gonna go ahead and you're gonna screw in the two screws right here in the back, make sure it's in there properly. All right, we're gonna need a, a small Phillips head screwdriver, as you can see here. So we're gonna go ahead and screw it in. All right, and then that'll secure your communicator into there.